this time, he kept it. I knew. I sensed a part of him still alive, trapped, struggling. Oh, Arthas. Perhaps, perhaps he might someday remember what he once was. By the light, may he at last find rest, free from the icy grip of that terrible blade. endless days in Lord Aron. Sharpening your skill with this dull blade. Forging you into a weapon meant to withstand the demands of a great destiny. <laughs> you sure put them skills to use, didn't you, lad? If only I'd been able to stop you that day. How different things might have been. If only I'd have never discovered that accursed blade. Farewell, Arthas. My brother. We are the Forsaken. We will slaughter anyone who stands in our way. So, it is done. I had not dared to trust my senses. Too many times has the Lich King made me to be a fool. Finally, he has been made to pay for the atrocities he imposed upon my people. May Azeroth never fail to remember the horrible price we paid for our weakness, for our pride. But what now, hero? What of those freed from his grasp, but still shackled to their mortal coils? Leave me. I have much to ponder. Arthas. Alas, hero of Azeroth, you give me a greater gift than you know. Long have I struggled to forgive the Prince for his terrible transgressions. My soul has been racked with unbearable anxiety, dark thoughts, distancing me from the light. I recall clearly the gleam of pride in his eye as he stood before me eager to defeat the enemies of the light. Eager to defend his people, no matter the cost. It is this memory of Arthas that I choose to keep in my heart. I shall always be in your debt, friend. Thank you. Harness your hate. Make it useful. A shadow of hope remains. Father! Daria, my son. At last, I am able to lay my eyes upon you again. Father, I... I feared for your... your sanity. The Lich King tormented me without end, Darren. Endlessly, he sought to break my will, to force me to serve him, to bind me to his blade. Finally, when events demanded his full attention, he left. The one memory I clung to, Darian. The one thought that kept me from giving in. 
It was your sacrifice, my son, that again saved me from eternal peril. Father, for you, I would give my life a thousand times.